Well, I'm delighted to be in Cairo, uh, my first trip to Egypt as Secretary of State, and to really have very comprehensive discussions about this almost one-half century relationship between the U.S. and Egypt and our commitment to strengthening this partnership in the years to come. I'm also very pleased to be with Foreign Minister Shukri, who has become a friend as we have engaged on a number of challenges in the region uh, and to address those jointly and with a great deal of agreement between us as to how those issues need to be addressed. I look forward to my uh, meeting with President Al-Sisi and appreciate his receiving me as well. We had a very productive discussion on our shared regional and uh, security concerns. We spoke about opportunities as to how to strengthen our ties uh, and, as the Foreign Minister indicated, mechanisms by which we can deepen those ties and further explore areas for mutual cooperation, uh, first through the strategic dialogue, which we've agreed we will have later this year, and then we're going to explore also the possibility of a 2 plus 2 dialogue to even allow us to, to further enhance these conversations, both on a, on a full range of issues of not just security concerns, but uh, political and economic opportunities as well. Uh, I did express uh, to the Foreign Minister our condolences to the people of Egypt for the violence that they have been suffering from the terrorist attacks uh, perpetrated by ISIS and other terrorist groups. Uh, Egypt's been battling this level of extremism for many years, and we continue to be steadfast partners in their response to these attacks throughout this time. Uh, we agreed that we would continue our close cooperation on counterterrorism measures, including our, our joint commitment to the defeat of ISIS. And Egypt has been a very important member of the Defeat ISIS coalition from the beginning. Uh, they, Egypt deals with the threats of ISIS themselves and are dealing with it certainly uh, currently in the Sinai. We also discussed the importance of the protection and promotion of human rights and the vital role of civil society in Egypt. With the presidential elections planned for the end of March, the United States, as it does in all countries, supports a transparent and credible electoral process and all citizens being given the right and the opportunity to participate freely and fairly. On Libya, the United States and Egypt support the UN's action plan for Libya for credible and peaceful elections in their country. This will promote stability, much needed stability for Libya and their economy to prosper. As the Security Council affirmed on December the 14th, the Libyan political agreement, in our view, must remain the framework for a political solution throughout Libya's transitional period. Now, Foreign Minister Shukri and I also discussed Syria and how we can work together to reinforce the UN-led Geneva political process, which is the only political framework through which this conflict can be resolved. And, and Egypt has played a very important role in supporting dialogue between opposition representatives and the central government in Damascus. On the Middle East peace, I reiterated that the Trump administration remains committed to achieving a lasting peace agreement between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Now, the Foreign Minister and I also discussed how we can intensify our country's economic engagement and support our private sector to generate jobs and prosperity for both of our people. And, and I acknowledged and, and welcomed the very important, uh, although we know difficult, steps towards reform that President Sisi has undertaken uh, in order to create a very strong foundation for future prosperity and economic performance in Egypt. And those have been necessary, although difficult, uh, to be fully receive the full support of the IMF, and Egypt has met all of those uh, requirements. We'll do what we can to continue to encourage the economic recovery, and, and we hope that American companies are able to increase their investments in Egypt that will create jobs and opportunities here as well. Uh, the United States, again, commits itself to standing with Egypt, standing shoulder to shoulder, in, these, in the fight against terrorism, but also standing together to create a more stable region for everyone as well. And I thank the Foreign Minister for our opportunity to meet and exchange on so many important issues. Thank you.